Hey, welcome back to the channel. There's a local auction sale that's got Minneapolis Moline MY60 in it. I've seen MY40s, but I don't think I've ever seen an MY60. Apparently it's not a runner. They tried getting it started. Yeah. Yep. MY60, 6,000, which I could have guessed that, 6,000 pound capacity. Kind of cool. Out of the south? Huh. Runs good, drives good. Oh, this pickup, you mean? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> So I'll check this out a little bit here. Yeah. It's a 220 or 206. Let's uh, do a little more investigating on here. It's got... Split around a little. Look like hard, hard tires. Mobile. Hmm. They took the out of it. Yep. I just wanna, I wanna see what size motor it is. There should be a tag on it. There's the hydraulic pump. Is it one up here that you're looking for? Or no, the motor? not that one. The one on the motor. Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't pay a whole lot of attention to it. Yep. Uh, 58, 51 heads. You guys from Long Ways Way? Nope. No, we live over by. Between Kingston and Carroll is where I'm at. <laughs> yeah. You're the second guy who came today from Kingston. Yeah, who was the other one? Bob Bamore, probably. Uh, you drive a red Chevy pickup? Nope. Yeah, card here. Okay. Kingston machine. Oh, Wayne Pelton. He's looking at the machines. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. He's a, uh, that guy is very intelligent. He, uh, he's on a couple of machines. I do yeah, I believe you. He's got, some, he's got a nice car too. He's in the old cars too, but he's got a uh, really, really, he's, he can machine or weld anything you can think of. That's what he was telling me. That yeah. He for Trice County John Deere. Okay. He said he's been doing a bunch of front end parts that all <laughs> lopped out. Yeah. It's pretty oh. interesting to talk to him. Oh, yeah. Very, like I said, he's very intelligent. I don't know if his boy still works with him or not. But. <sighs> there should be a serial. Some things I didn't even know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the tag's gone. I can see where the rivets were or are, but the tag is gone. All right. Well, that's not the end of the world, but. All right, I'm going back to work. All right. Thanks for talking to us. Okay. Hope to see you tomorrow. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to try. All this stuff. Well, <laughs> I won't do that. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's kind of neat. Different. You know, I haven't, that's what fuel cap is. This is a gasoline motor. Kind of cool if it was an LP, but it's kind of cool that it's not. So, looks like it's got hydraulic brakes on it. I'd bet money that they don't work. Huh, wonder how much that counterweight weighs. Huh. Hmm. Boy, she's not, that's not totally, well, I guess it's got a little bit more reinforcement there. Got some heavy duty forks on it. Well, we should to pick up that much weight. That's just an air hose. That ain't much of a hydraulic hose on there. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Now well, let's look at the cereal plate one more time. Type G. Huh. 
interesting so well we'll see i don't know i got like six open houses of graduation parties to go to tomorrow and this sale starts so <sighs> we shall see so stand by for the results or i might have somebody here uh watching it for me so but i i don't know they're be kind of handy on hard services but you know you get off and spin down twice and you're stuck and this thing would be just a big big boat anchor once you're stuck so hey we'll see stay tuned what it is six thousand pound double m forklift uh, there you go all right where do you want to start it at how many dollars do you want to bid on it somebody start me at about five thousand Tip it five, tip it five thousand. Where you at? Someone start me up here. Three thousand. Who got a three thousand dollar bid? Seven of the three, the three, the three. Who's got a thousand dollars on it? Thousand dollar bid. They were using it, and the starter went out. Thousand dollar bid. Seven of the thousand. Come on, come on, come on. What do you want to do? What do you want to start it at? Five hundred. You got a five hundred dollars. Who got five hundred? Five. Now six hundred dollars on it. Bid six hundred dollars on it. Bid six. Now seven. Now seven and seven and seven. Tip it seven hundred and seven hundred dollars. I'm gonna bump seven hundred dollars on it. Tip it. About seven hundred dollars on it. Seven, 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 seven hundred, seven hundred, seven hundred. I got six hundred dollars. Where do you want to go? Six and a half. Six and a half. Six and a half. It's six and a half. We're going six and a half. Half. We're going to go six hundred fifty dollar bid. Fifty six hundred fifty dollar bid. I got six hundred on it. Everybody want to go six and a half? Six and a half, six and a half, now seven, now seven, seven. You go seven, seven, now seven and a half, 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 seven and a half, seven and a half. A lot of work in here, putting a lot of weight up. Seven and a half, seven and a half, I got seven hundred, everybody go seven and a half. I need to help you were still okay so here, here's the situation i got you at 700 i can sell it for nine and uh what's, what's gonna happen is he's gonna just wave it wave what he's doing just to sell it to someone you get help the people out so 900 if anybody wants to do it you're my bidder you want to do 900 i got 900 here we're going to get a bottom of anybody else sold 900 dollars right here to bid enough her 34 thank you 34 wins it steve you want me to go down this way yes sir all right it's the next day yeah i ended up with the forklift but uh oh for i forget happy father's day today's father's day this is what jacob got me one for each side of my trailer that's pretty cool let me zoom get a little closer here huh that's that's pretty cool that's i uh really appreciate that jake um i i would have never even thought of that so anyways Oh, my doggone wench on the front of my trailer was giving me fits. And luckily, I uh, tried working on it before I left this morning to go get this forklift. And I couldn't get that thing to work. I replaced the men's. They were all corroded. I think I need all the cables need to re be replaced or something. I don't know. Or just get a new one. But those things aren't cheap. So anyways, I threw the, took the 302 gasser on and uh we pulled it on with that took it over it wasn't too far away so we got her home of course the ethan berry rule number one strap on your hood that's a must actually we left this morning i didn't have it on there and i looked in the mirror i was like eh, we better stop so i did that hey we put one on here too <laughs> so we'll get this thing unloaded um probably after breakfast so anyways got it on there that's a heavy beast these things are they weigh like 10,000 pounds and they're uh you know supposed to lift up 6,000 6,000 pounds they have a 220 uh you know 220 uh, cubic inch motor in them from what a little bit i found i knew it was a 206 or 220 by looking at it but um Anyways, a little researcher put 220s in there. Same as, actually, same as what's in the 302. So, we'll uh, get this unloaded, and uh, we'll do a little better walk around it. And, you know, I don't think I'll try to get it running today. I got, I'm trying to work on that Z yet. I'm trying to get that done so we can get that out of here. But anyways, so, uh, the 302 didn't have any trouble pulling it on. But, hey, here's the other side. You got me one for each side of my trailer. I thought that was pretty good. Pretty cool. So he but somehow 
I'm not a real techie, but you know, these younger kids are. Made a QR code that you scan that and it goes right to my YouTube channel. And that's kind of neat. So if somebody sees this trailer at an auction sale or stoplight or something, they can uh, scan that and check me out. So anyways, yeah. I'm gonna go get some coffee and something to chew on and uh, might even go to church too today. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do on Sunday. So um, I'll be back in a little bit. back from church and uh, we went out for I'll call it brunch anyways for Father's Day so we're back and get this new forklift well new to us forklift unloaded and get her inside so we got 900 LP on uh, on the old push stick so give her a little tug and get her up there Stop the trailer. Well, mysteriously, the GoPro shut off because it was too hot. Jeez. Anyways, it's hopefully I missed most of it. Anyways, I got a little excited here. We uh, I was trying to push it in here. 
Now let's just say the backhoe, or not backhoe, the forklift started digging into the dirt. Oh, dog on dog. Anyways, so dug down. Yeah, made a mess. So we ended up putting a ZA inside where I wanted to put the forklift. Now the forklift's outside for now. I need to pour some concrete out here. But they don't give that stuff away. And I'm done pouring concrete for myself because every time I pour concrete, I'm not happy with the result. And you know, concrete gets kind of permanent once you put it down or it gets real costly if you want to replace it. But ah, whatever. So, hey, let's take a peek at this forklift a little closer here so we can finish out this video for you. So, it's an, like I say, it's an MY60 Mini Ups Moline. You know, I wasn't going to go to that sale, but I wanted to go video it because it wasn't too far away. And I was less than an hour. And how often does do, do people, viewers, myself, I see a Moline forklift, Mini Ups Moline forklift? You know, not very often. It's like, ah, cool, it's good content. You know, I see it anyways. You know, when I get there and... Uh, I'd say the majority of the items there at the sale, at least 75% of them, were probably going to end up in the scrapyard and making Harbor Freight tools and stuff. So I was like, ah, you know, and uh, so I talked to one of the guys that was working the auction. They let me look, let me look it over, and they told me what they did to it and what they didn't do to it and this and that. And I was like, ah, you know, not running. So and kind of glad that I did go to the sale. Uh, some things come up in the morning that change my plans that <clears throat> I won't get into at the moment. Anyways, uh, so we needed to get it away. And uh, so I, I went to the sale, me and the boys, and actually I took my father along too. And we went over there and yeah, I ended up with it. And I'm 99% sure the the other bidder was a, a scrap buyer, which, you know, I don't blame him. And, you know, the thing weighs 10,000 pounds, so that's five ton, you know. If scrap was a hundred dollars a ton, you know, that's 500 bucks But I, I think it's a little bit higher than that right now. This like I say this place had a whole bunch of You know machinist tools, you know brakes and presses and lathes and this that you know The big ones that are you know bigger than this forklift and probably some of that stuff weighs more than this forklift But anyways, I didn't stay for that stuff, but I'm sure that sold for probably not for scrap value probably or something similar so Luckily, this sold towards the beginning of the sale, you know, and I paid it. You'll 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 see the uh, um, the auction there. I did I did bring it home, and I had a guy come up to me after the auction, and I wasn't sure what he was going to say. He had to look at me and says, "Hey, you're a good man." I was like, "Well, thank you." <laughs> so, you know, probably because I saved this. It's a piece of history. I mean, this this thing. They kind of had it running, they said, on ether and this and that. And then uh, the guy working on it never saw, uh, apparently, a Minneapolis Moline motor. He says, I've never seen a motor like that before. I was like, well, okay. So, you know, I didn't, uh, you know, waste his time and tell him a whole bunch of details about it. But that's that's that was yesterday. So, anyways, so let's look at this thing again a little closer. Since it's now, it's in my house. So... Still got the rod there for holding that up, but we'll just flip her back a little farther. And we'll move the seat off. They kindly left the bolts for me. We'll just set them right there for now. But we'll lift the seat off. <clears throat> Slide her forward a little bit, then over, I think. Seat cushions aren't too bad. So, got a brand new coil. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure this is a two, 220 inch motor. Like I say, radiator looks like it needs a cleaning, but it don't look too bad. Let's see if I can, okay, without falling on me. Air breather, uh, here's the other part of it. I think that probably has just a glass bowl on it. Here's one wire. They said, oh, the starter's right there. Holy shmikes. Yeah. I think it needs a starter solenoid. 
I don't know if you can see in there or not, but she's off of green and uh, got a little warm. So anyways, they said I had it rolling over starting and had it started on ether, you know, then they uh, melted this. Well, that solenoid looks familiar. <laughs> so we will get that fixed. Yeah, there's the, probably have to make a new cable for it. Ooh, battery case. Oh, look at there, spins out. I have, I've never worked on, I think I've only seen one Minneapolis Moline forklift in my life. And I'm pretty sure that was an MY40. It was at an old Moline dealer. Actually, not too far from here. Well, about an hour, I should say. Well, relatively speaking, that's not too far. But anyways, I'm, I'm a mumbling. Is that the oil filter or is that the hydraulic filter? We'll figure that out after a bit. Because most of the time on, the, on these motors, the oil filter's underneath. So we'll look her over. I'll uh, definitely start with a new uh, solenoid. We'll check all the fluids. Man, that's a lot of iron right there. Uh, is this a pin that goes in there? Hmm. Yep. Gonna have to get me a manual. I think I'll call out to uh, Floyd County and see if they got any manuals left. And if not, uh, well, uh, I'm sure they're, I know they're on eBay. So, but uh, if I can help out the Floyd County Museum, we'll do that. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> right. that solenoid is toast. All right. Okay. See, and this one's not hooked up to anything. That one here. So I'm sure one of these is tilt and one of these is, uh, you know, raised lower. This one here, Jake and I were trying to figure out, well, it's not even hooked up anyways to something. I don't know if that was side shift, but there's not, there's nothing on here. I'm judging by this paint, this never got used anyways. But I'm wondering why it's wide open like that. Because the parking brake is right here. Doubt it works. Hey, here's where you check the engine oil. At least I assume that's engine oil. Yep. Da, da, da. It's got oil in it. It's black oil. Oh, it smells like oil. We'll change that too. I just want to get underneath it. Huh, kind of neat here. This will be where we put the oil in. That's the hydraulic pump. Cottonwood everywhere. Yep, that's the right distributor cap. All right. Huh. Well, there's. I'm pretty sure. Let's see, where's that go? These guys got. They got that hooked up as positive ground. Hmm. I'll have to look into that. See, my positive side of the coil is hooked to there. We'll have to look into that. I would think. A 220 motor would be a 12 volt system. Oh, let's see if we can find a, a Delco tag. Here it is on the starter or a generator here. Just because it's got a generator doesn't mean it's 6 volt. They do make 12 volt generators. See if we can see anything here. Look at there. It says 12 volt right on there. Okay. So there's one of their problems. They got the they got this hooked up backwards. I can tell you that right now. So we'll have to fix that. Or else we're gonna have a they'll have other issues. So okay. 
All right, so we got that. Wonder if there's any water in here. Oh, oh look at there. Full of antifreeze. Okay. Oh, we stole the key. I mean, yeah, we'll have to figure that out here. Hydraulic oil fill. Oh, there is a. Yep. That's got oil on it. Good deal. Okay. Huh. Interesting. And I think that's a 12 volt coil too, isn't it? Yeah, they've got a 12 volt coil on there. Okay, they did that right. But I, I'm, yeah. There's something, something don't make sense here. So I, we're gonna change that coil to, we're gonna make her negative ground. So I'll grab an, another battery, so another 100 bucks. This is, must be the gas cap. Okay. All right. Yep. Now I got to figure out the air cleaner here. If I got something around here or not. Yeah. This must be the transmission oil. Got some moisture there. But. Okay, FHFC. Not sure what that means, but yeah, I definitely get in the manual here. All right, so it has a high and low. I see that. Curious uh, what the other stuff. So imagine that's okay. Hot. Okay, one, two. All right, one. Two, so that means th actually three. That would be neutral. Okay. I just I think this is your high and low here. High and low. So we'll leave it low for now. And this would be your reverse, neutral, forward. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So I'm gonna. I don't know if I got one of them solenoids here or not. That takes two, the two screws. I might have one here. There's that Moline forklift. Kind of cool. But uh, hey, I appreciate everybody watching. We're we're way over that thousand subscriber mark. So I mean that's one of my that was a big goal. You know that's kind of cool. So I don't know what my next goal is. You know. But, you know, I appreciate everybody watching. This will be good enough for this video. But please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.